Doodle bud with a couple pretty pink pens here. What's going on? Well, I got a present for my daughter. It's going to be her first fountain pens. Let's check these out. She loves pink. Everything's got to be pink. So I thought I had to do that for her. I got this little Jin Hao 166 and this platinum. They call it the little shooting star. Let's uh, see how they perform. So I've already done a review on this pen. Mine's this uh, blue, two-tone blue color. You may remember it from such things as fountain pen versus car wash, where I strapped this thing to the windshield of my car, fully inked, and ran it through the car wash, and she still wrote right after, so good on you. Anyway, so I was thought, you know what? It's not an amazing pen, but it performs <laughs> exceptionally well. Uh, whatever, these are like $2, little pop cap. It's small, it's light. And you know what? She doesn't need anything too fancy, but this thing just, it held up pretty damn good. I don't know if she can put it through that type of torture. I think it's going to hold up. So if you look up Jin Hao 166, you'll find it. But if you go on AliExpress where I got it, it is the high quality 177 fountain pen Morandi color system. 24 holes, 24 holes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12, 24 holes, 0.38 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter ink pen office school supplies. Just rolls off the tongue. So extra fine or fine nib is your option. I got it in fine. It's a buck 68 Canadian <laughs> and another dollar 35 for shipping. So sub $2 pen all in with shipping for just over $3. I wanted to get her something that I knew is a little bit nicer that's performing a little bit better better manufacturer platinum they're a great brand so i got this one now this is i guess this is for the chinese market because that's the website so it's dot com dot cn um here i looked it up they call it the platinum little shooting star you know seven and a half bucks another five for shipping so pretty reasonable there as well to as a big step up to a platinum brand but again, on AliExpress, where I got mine, it's the Kawaii Platinum Fountain Pen Small Meteor Macaron Color Anti-Rolling Pen Student Supplies Office Accessories for Kids. PQ200. Comes in this little pen tube. Crack it open. It's just like a little bottle cap that you'd have off of a drink. Wait a second. Let's see if this one fits. Yep, that does the trick. Out comes the pen. Comes with a converter as well. Let's put that over there. That is a nice little detail though. Like most pens come in those useless little clamshell boxes that are garbage. Um, this is actually kind of useful. You could put the pen in here, a couple cartridges, and just chuck it in your bag. And you know, this probably holds it well, seals it pretty decently if it leaks or if you're traveling. That's, that's actually a nice little feature. The stickers are terribly crooked. Um, I mean, this one's not so bad, but it is bad. This thing's just way off kilter, so <laughs> whatever. You're not buying it for that. Small little pen, I'll weigh it. This feels mega light. So what are we tipping the scales at? 11 and a half grams. <laughs> That's pretty damn light. Uh, yeah, you can, you can see the mark there. It's a two piece. It's weird they didn't do it on, like I guess it's like hexagonal. You think you would do the seam on one of these ridges, but you can see the two piece there. And of course, on the other side right there. Anyway, small detail. Platinum's on there. Little pop cap. Very simple. Very easy for a kid to open. When it says for kids, yeah, that's really light. It is lighter compared to this one. This was a little bit stronger. So we'll see if she can... I think she can get that off. She's pretty tough for her age. It's not that bad. But this will be no problem. And then, uh, of course, your standard cartridge converter comes with the cartridge and the pen as well. Converter is just one of these quick job dealies where it just slides up and down on the side, so pretty quick. Um, you know, it's got the ball to break the surface tension to help flow, but I'm always I'm curious about that. Is that going to plug off ink flow? That's interesting. I, well, I guess if the feed gets up in there enough to push it back, that should be okay. Well, 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 we'll find out. I saw this little part of the pen. It's got the little P on it and the little stars. I guess that's why we call it the shooting star here. So I thought she'd like that. Little stars on there. That's cute. Cute little pink pen, right? So I think she'll like this little guy. Should perform well. I checked it under the loop really quickly too as I as I cracked it open. This seemed quite nice. The Jin Hao, it's probably going to be a little bit scratchy. But this one seemed quite nice as well. Um, pops off. 
pretty simple nib unit with the feed. Very, very simple design. Very simple there. There's probably a little slit somewhere if we can even see. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, I don't know if you can even see that. There's right down the center, there's a tiny little slit. Interesting. And then uh, it's kind of like a Lamy style feed that goes on there. They are smart though, so it's got the stops. There's the notch cut out, and you got this little tang, so it's just it seats properly. Nice little detail for a cheap pen. Another nice feature with this platinum is it has that slip and seal cap. On the uh, translucent ones, you can see it, but it's got that same cap. Well, I don't know, if it's exactly the same, but on say the the three seven seven six, where they say you put it in there and it can stay wet for a long time, it seals it in there, and you can tell there's that spring in there. You can turn it, that's the spring kind of clicking in there. And if you take another pen or something and, and press down, you can feel that inner cap move down so it's it's fitting up tight against the body. So another great reason I chose this pen, it probably gonna get inked, it's not gonna get treated, you know, as far as flushing it and cleaning it all the time. So if you got a nice sealed cap, pretty safe to give it to a kid and not have to worry about it getting dried out so much. I don't own one. Uh, but this, I believe, is just very, very identical to a Platinum Prepri, or I think it's called the Prefontaine, or something like that. Same kind of guts and section and all that stuff as well. So those are a great little pen. I, I've used one before, but I, I don't own one. I know for an entry-level pen, they perform very well. So I believe this is just the same, the same internals, the same guts, and some uh, cute little packaging for kids. There's all sorts of different colors. They even have some translucent ones. I'll put links in the description here for all these pens if you want to check it out. And I think there's even like a Hello Kitty one or whatever as well. So here we go. Let's uh, ink them up, try them out and see how they do. So these are the inks I'm going to use. And I thought I would do this review first because my plan is actually to surprise my daughter give them to her, I'm gonna do a video with that. She's gonna join me and do a little writing sample and I wanna see if she likes them or not. So, but I thought just in case that video doesn't go so great, I might as well do a quick review as well. And I wanna make sure the pens are flowing great. So this is Monteverdi Rose Noir for this one. And uh, I have uh, some pink inks I am gonna use when she's on the video, but if it, if it happens, <laughs> but I don't get to use this one too much. So I'm gonna put this green olive on here by Robert Oster. So we're all inked up and ready to go. I do, I gotta tell you this, this stuff though, when you get it on your finger, you know, depending, because I stained it, of course, it, I mean, it looks like I've been smoking two packs a day for the last 30 years. It really gets in there. Uh, one thing with this guy though, too, you know, you, you ink it, all right, as normal. It's just a slide up deal, but it doesn't seem to really fill up that much. There's a pretty significant gap. And you, I, I tried multiple times, but that's as much as I could get in there. So that's a little odd. And then um, one thing I noticed is ink does st stay down in there a little bit. So I hope it doesn't really leak out and stain too much. But So here we are. This is the little platinum. Wait a second. Is that showing up on the camera? I guess it's not too bad. It's just pretty light. <laughs> this is the platinum. Uh, we'll call it the little star. You know, fairly dry. It's a very fine nib. But that's actually a, a, a good thing when you got a kid. They don't need a gusher of a nib and they touch it a few seconds later. So let's see how quick this is. Wow. Okay. That's actually, that's a good feature for a kid pen. Let's give it the old mango chutney. Yeah, it is a bit dry. It is skipping a little bit. I think that might be excessively dry. It could be, yeah, increased a little bit, I think. What I might do is just adjust that opening a tad. It looks so narrow. It's okay for smoothness. I might even smooth this one a little bit. It could use, yeah, it's not terrible, but maybe just a little improvement. But I'll uh, try the other one out and see how that goes. So this is the uh, the Jinhao 166. Ooh. This seems really bad. Yeah, we got major flow issues, alignment as well. All right, let me uh, tweak both of these and come back at you, see what we can do. Just the reality of 
working with fountain pens, you're going to have to learn how to tune the nibs a little bit. So I'm just trying to get a idea if this is too tight or not. This is a one thou and a half. Sorry for the jiggling there. Feeler gauge, and yeah, it goes in at the start, and then that's it. So I'm going to have to open that up a bit. Okay, so this one was really bad. The the gap was almost non-existent, but now we got some better ink flow. Not going to skip anymore. Still pretty dry, but uh, I don't mind that. Reverse is, is pretty scratchy. I tried my best just to get it to write something. But I think we have a half-decent working pen now. Let's try our mango chutney. Yeah, it's still dry. The platinum just needed a little adjustment. The tines were just a touch too tight, but now, again, it's just smudge as a touch. So it's it's still pretty dry, but it was very dry before. You can see the color. The saturation is a lot nicer now. Let's give this one a go. And then reverse. Actually put it in the micro mesh just a little bit so it could write, it couldn't even write reverse before, but I just tweaked it and now we can get a little bit just in case she forgets to hold it this way. If she holds it this way, it's still gonna work on her. So a $2 pen and an $8 pen, uh, you know, there is a noticeable difference. And that's why I wanted to get her uh, a half decent little pen, a nice little platinum one. This is, you know, on that entry level side, but it's noticeably different. Even I think the preppy is a little bit cheaper and I would, if it's got the same guts and internals, definitely, definitely better buy than that guy. They both post, they go in there nicely, you know, so I would, that's how I would write with it if I was using it, but she's got teeny little hands. So this will be a perfect size. This one posts as well, posts on there quite nicely. It actually, you know, this one feels pretty good in the hand. I, I do like how it fits. It's got that little bit of a uh, triangular type section on there, reminiscent of, say, like a Lamy Safari. So it actually feels quite nice in the hand as well. They both do. But as far as writing goes, I would give it to this platinum. I think that's a pretty good little deal for this pen. Um, lots of color options and stuff like that as well. And uh, yeah, this thing writes really well. It just needed to be open just a hair. It was a touch tight there as well. So um, I took my little feeler gauges and I, I look for about a thousandth and a half of an inch. It should just bite a little bit as it goes through. That's around the right gap I'm looking for. With construction, they're both, you know, kind of similar. I mentioned before when they clamshelled it, they have the seam runs on the cap on one of the flat spots. But on the, on the body, they actually did it smart. They ran the seam on one of the splines here so you don't really see it. Um, yeah, pretty minimal design and stuff like that. This one obviously has got the clip. But yeah, they're both similar pens. Uh, I, again, this one writes better. You can see the little nipple here left over from when it was made and injected. Uh, little details like that. This is just cleaned up a little bit nicer. They have one, but they just did a job to clean it up a little bit more too. But all in all, as far as how the pen performs, what do you expect for this price point? I, I don't expect a lot, um, but in this case, a couple of dollars more, I find you do get a much better performing pen. So that's it for, for this part of it. I am going to do an attempt of having my daughter with me and show her the pens I got. I'm going to clean them all out. Now they're adjusted and tuned. I smoothed this one here just a little bit because it was pretty terrible as well. And again, I just wanted to get these working, working really well. So when she uses them, there's not going to be any skipping and stuff like that going on. They're just ready to go and she can play around. So that's all I got this time. We'll uh, stay tuned for the second part when we got a guest host coming on here. And uh, catch you next time.